Hey gang, here's step two of developing your full pistol squat. And if you don't want to know what a pistol squat is, here it is. Hand to core, foot to core, squatting down. Hold the squat and then bringing it back up. That's my full pistol squat. Uh, if you've never tried it, please go try it and then you'll have some appreciation for it. But we need a very strong single leg stance for a full pistol squat. So what we need to do is understand how to ground the foot engage the foot, dial the knee out, and bring that energy into the pelvic floor. Okay, so that's what we're developing here. Then bring your body weight into that leg, and now we'll start playing around with doing some single leg squat type actions, okay? So you can do that with your foot behind you, you can do it with your foot in front of you, use blocks if you wanna to touch down to blocks, but you're going to need to develop your single leg stance, okay? Make sure you're doing it on both legs. Take your time. Build that foot to core connection. Spread your toes. Root down. And then engage. You've got to dial your knee out. We're using that external ex, um, activation. Pulling that leg into the core. And then, like I say, you can do some knee bending actions to start preparing you for going all the way down, okay? So that's your work for the next week. Every single day, doing those single leg stances. Activate your leg, and then I will give you step three. Keep rolling your feet and your ankles, though. We wanna really make sure we've got full ankle range of motion. So that was step one, okay? Next week, step three. Keep working, let's get there. Bye for now.